Welcome to our channel. Adolf Yurif and our team welcome you. We want to show you the following moment today. You remember? We showed you the video. I want to tell you a few words as an introduction. We have such a decoration. Now we'll decorate this part, same but way but wider. Here we have such a position that was the basis of such a decoration. The main thing is that everything started much earlier. It's quite easy. Many masters who are looking now at such decoration, I highlight not beginners, as a rule they can draw, because either they learned how to do that or they have some abilities in drawing. I faced the following in my life. When we had a collective, we didn't have needed background to have clear understanding in our heads what is wrong and what is not. We were only practicing. There were two variants. Either you do something interesting and unique, or, in simple words, you will be without money. It's easy to watch from the distance and comment what is right and what is not. Regarding such comments, I ask people just film your own video and show what is right. But not for me. I don't need it. I know what I'm doing and how. Show to the beginners. Why we showed you this method? Because life conditions which I had earlier and those people who started same period, who shared same period with me, nobody could draw among us. But we had to carve some products just to survive. That's why these or those moments or methods were developed for a person who is not able to draw. To carve something that what is close to artistic geometry wood carbon fragments or to artistic patterns. That's why this part we showed how to do. We cut and cut the direction with the V tool and another one. Is that simple, right? Yes. Generally speaking, even without marking, main orients were the two lines which were cut angle-wise inside. Then we had such orients. In that case, I'll show you. If we used the V tool here, now, in that case, we will not use it, but we'll use a small semicircle gouge. Why? What is the difference? As you know, the V-tool can be of 36 and 45 degrees. It differs. Some tool is more narrow, some is wider, but as a result we have such a groove. We'll all together create a big side part and mark 3 centimeters. Why? I think it will be narrow. Let's take even 3.5 centimeters. Why do I focus your attention on it? Not everyone can draw. Of course not. Many people who face such things or who ask whether they can do this or that, they are answered firstly, learn how to draw. But a person doesn't know, for example, how to do that. Well, they are set for the second time to sculpture, but a person is not perfect in this too. As a result, somewhere they succeeded and somewhere not. For example, what is the difference between what we show and if a person knows how to draw? The difference is that everything what is shown can be done by everyone. These are not large fragments where you should create certain figures, build some positions. That is technology. Like this. But we show you the simplest way and the most understandable. What will we do? As I said, we'll do the same but wider for you to understand. 
that this looks very interesting on larger scale. It's simple effectively. It draws attention and main thing it is in fact for everyone and especially for those people who are not able to carve artistic fragments, who can't build some compositions. This part you can use everywhere. Okay, let's start. Don't be strict, this is a reality. A person can't draw, then he marked did step by step as it was shown and it's done. In fact, he realized himself in this or that. Now we take we have the cut parts here, cut deep, and we'll show what is the difference. We'll paint it in a little bit another color to compare easily. Carbon in small it's one thing. Do the same in larger scale. That is completely another thing. In order to organize all the fragments, we work from the side part. Actually, we mark as we wish. Let's mark 4 centimeters. Continue marking further. In small 4 centimeter fragments, I think they do not look well. Accordingly, it's better to stretch the fragments. If we stretch, it will be very good to have fragments of 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. 8. Done. Marked. Divide for yourself into sectors. We've divided the board into sectors. Here you must understand, in fact, the inside size it is 2.9, in fact, it's 3 centimeters. You need to step away from the border to separate it then. Here is 3.5 centimeters. What will we do? We take a small semicircle gouge. If you carve with the large gouge, it will be also original. But here it's recommended to delete this part to prevent chopping off to add certain charm, to create an original pattern. You need to notch deep with a semicircle gouge to prevent chopping off, as I told you. Circle-wise. It's needed, in fact. We've done such a skeleton here, cleaned up. We take a semicircle gouge, Let's compare the semicircle gouge and the V-tool. Let's work within the fragment. If you carve long, it will look quite interesting. Let's divide our board into 4 centimeters. It will be also original. Divide the 8 centimeters into 2 halves, place 4 here, 4 here, Mark general orients not to get confused. So, let's work. From here. Exactly. With a semicircle gouge. Here. Done. Now, notch not from the edge. In fact, divide into two halves. You must have here two, general eight, four, and the division is two. But it will be next. Work here, two eight, sorry, two four. Like that. Done. Accordingly, our next four is here. Let's middle it. It's here. Such a skeleton is based. Divide four into two.
Notch to the mark four. Here is eight. Here we modify counting the direction. Here one. Here turn. Here finish. Like that. You must have such a result. We'll clean it up. It will be cool. Done. Marked. As we did before. Take a semicircle gouge. We need, in fact, to divide those line segments into halves. I mean, from the half. Here, show deep. Here. Show deep. To the deep. Accordingly, what do we have? Such a skeleton. Here we have such noses. There we left a little more. We've done such a branching. Now look. We need, in fact, inside. Take a vitro of 45 degrees. Here, start yourself, show deep. Where we notched with a semicircle gouge. Don't hurry. No need to hurry. Accordingly from the side part. Separate. Not needed parts. Here, based on the assortment of tools you have, I mean specialized wood carving ones, you can do it with a skewed knife or any other, with a swallowtail knife, for example, or even a gouge. There is no difference. We carved deep and will separate also deep. Those fragments will look nice if you highlight them a lot. Especially when you do it in a large scale. We made such a decision with Arthur to show you deep separation. It's important for those who start, especially for those who don't have any knowledge in drawing. Because no matter how much they criticize or tell, but to create some artistic word, you should have knowledge in drawing. That's why we show you this, because it differs. Because in our case, we'll paint further, not now. Main thing, you must try and understand for yourself whether it's yours or not. Exactly this method allows you to try yourself. So try, experiment, decide. If you follow us step by step, you'll for sure succeed. So we got that part. And as you see, we got some defects. So what will we do? We turn. We show here angle-wise the existing notches. Here. Show here. Here. Show. Here. Enter. Done. 
Accordingly, except those semicircle notches, we have notches made with the V-tool. Secondary. You highlight them. Mark like this. Show. Show. Done. Accordingly, in the direction of your pattern, showed. Showed. Now, we'll clean it up. Done. But here we have still dirty parts, right? Yes. What do we need? In fact, you have the highlighted fragment here, right? Yeah. You can highlight it more. How? Look. This drop with an angle, not toward yourself, but away from yourself. Here, you notch like that. What do we have like that? In fact, you've done it. There are some uneven parts. You fix them. So this part, the same way. You round off and so on. Here, continue the cycle. Here, enter in the direction of the V-tool. Cut here. Ideally, pay attention to the plasticity. In fact, you should merge that fragment with the direction of your notch made with the semicircle first. Then, with the V-tool for the second time. Here, same way. Done. So here, friends, take away the background at once. We don't show you the principle, how we highlight it a little. We show how to highlight fundamentally, in order to have full picture. Here is a cut, same way like here. So we turn. Here. Like that. Separate. You can work with a sloping gouge like that. As you see, we separated from both sides. We didn't clean yet here, but we intentionally separated so large for you to see everything clearly. Now, our task is to take away this. Like the pattern appears from the downside, done. In fact, you can develop the pattern further. We didn't mark here with the V-tool. There we showed that we could mark like that. Here we used a semicircle gouge. Here, do you remember? Here is a semicircle gouge. Here you can create another model. Let's take a larger semicircle gouge. Here, from the very beginning, like that, like that, done. 
Here from the beginning. Don't hurry. Like that. Raise here. We'll fix those moments later. Like that from the beginning. Like that. Accordingly here. Here we notch. Here. Like that. Lower. Don't forget about the fiber here. Good. Here, notch. I understand. The work is more global here. But you'll do it easily. It's worth practicing like that. Here, we notch. Counting those turnings. So, such a dirty relief we created. Take a larger semicircle gouge. Our next task, those noses we need to show. Those ones. We don't touch small ones. We take a large semicircle gouge, as I told you. Here, from the middle. You notch like that. Raise like that. Like that. Done. In fact, one and second directions. Then we'll curve it. Like that. Remember that future details that you'll apply are important. Like that. Good. Now here. Show the direction. Like that carefully. Enter. Turn. Like that. Showed. So you have such a common start. Those moments will be rounded off. Dear beginners, geometrists and other friends, that is one of the variants only. We'll clean it up now. In this part, we need to show here down Done. Here, not from the beginning. From the middle. Show the direction. Carefully. Like that. Done. From the middle. Don't worry about dirty parts. In the process, we'll all together fix them. Here, from the edge, start cleaning up. It's up to you. You see rough forms, you fix it with the following cuts, making it smooth. Enter like that. Here. You create a certain plasticity. Here, even with the V tool, and show for the second time. Here, 
break. If you spend practicing wood carving at least one hour every day, you will have great results later on. Here, accordingly, like that. Good. Accordingly, you lower here for it to be highlighted more. The flat end, we need to show those inside parts. We'll fix those defective parts. Like that. Deep. Here, take away. Done. So here, look. We have a certain chopping off. Like that. Done. Here, a small semicircle gouge. Like that. We showed the depths. In order to add the depths inside, we need a small V-tool. With a short action in the notch, we show inside for the second time. Those parts we have, we need to show as a variant. Look, those parts we round off like that. Like that, you round off. Frankly speaking, is there anything difficult? I think that no. Is that effective? Yes, it is. Accordingly, those cuts you show for the second time, here accordingly, we show by edging, Generally speaking, we show the general plan what we have. Here, we use a V-tool. Here, look like that. We notch, enter here inside, and show. Here, the notch inside. Here, enter work according to the edge and here like that we showed here we round off enter with the sandpaper work with this direction create more plasticity let it be some details exactly for example you can show here for the second time I mean, not just an accidental line. Look. We have here a notch. And we show the direction there. Accordingly, you take a semicircle, gouge and show it. You take a smaller V-tool and show inside. Like that you create volume. Also you can use a semicircle gouge in the other way. Having turned the tool. For example, it can carve like this in the rounded moment. So that is clear. Yes. In fact, every certain notch we smooth out. Here you turn and round off. Where is our video? Here you notch and clean up. It's clear, in fact. Next, complete the detailing. Then, you polish with the sandpaper 
You can use such fragments in many products, almost everywhere in wood carving. Remember, always regarding those parts. It's better to polish them inside too. You round them off with a sandpaper, like that. Also, you can use a swallowtail knife to even those parts left to cut them. If you compare this part is more flat, that one is bigger. Regarding cleanness, as we told you before, here, friends, you clean up everything. You correct the background. That's important. Here, clean up. Like that. For example, exactly on large scale, especially it looks original. Now, work with sandpaper like that. Even will intentionally show the comparison of wood stains. Exactly. I mean, different colors. I want to tell you that these are those drops, as a rule, we'll leave them as it is. Main key moment, here you do the notch towards yourself. I'll touch this zone intentionally to compare. Here, look, we cut in one direction. Okay, let it be. Let's carve here also. Because we have not many charger left in our camera. Look, take a semicircle gouge. Small one. What will we do here? Work upside and here work in the notch line. Here with the short action mark like that. Done. Here. Done. Here. Deepen with it. Here turn. Here. Like that. Like that. In fact, we can't use here even V tool. As you understand, we need a skewed one here. So, we created such a fragment. Let's repeat the same. I mean, enter in the fragment and here like that showed. Here enter, like that showed. Here showed, according to the existing line. Here a turning showed like that, according to the existing, according to the existing. Here it's better to use a skewed semicircle gouge as well. Why? Because as you see, the guts are based like that. Here not a specialized semicircle gouge was used. Accordingly, we undercut those parts. Because we need another tool. You can compare this fragment and that, counting such usage. If here you use a V-tool with a turning part, you start creating certain details. Let's leave this for other lessons. We showed you many other things this time. So now, to remember this, we'll check out how it looks. We'll clean up more. One moment. By the way, 
friends. Sorry for telling that, but I will tell you this. I know there are people who are watching us attentively. In life of my friend and colleague Arthur, there is good news. Arthur became a father. Now he has a daughter. Congratulations are appreciated. I mean to Arthur, because I with my friends congratulated him. Everything is cool. Arthur is a father. So, congratulate him. Don't be shy. You can congratulate his wife as well. So, we use black color. What is painting? We used here an oak color, easy shading, and afterwards we used V tool to show the direction. What is one color without shading? What is shading and what is without? Main moment. We didn't force you to draw some sketches. Main moment. We marked wider 8 cm and 4 cm and worked within those distances to keep the symmetry. Right? Yes. The details. Those people who watched attentively, everything is shown clearly. The variations you see, you can use such fragment further. We broke in the other direction, counting the inside notching in details with V tool. Like that you highlight this part of the leaf, of this curve and of this drop, so to say, you can show more inside with a semicircle gouge or spoon chisel. Exactly that way. It will appear like from the inside and go there. Accordingly further, we'll use more complicated fragments. Step by step, we continue. We have the black color, right? It's a little wet. We take a used sandpaper and polish easily. Because when it's a little wet, it raises fiber. It's interesting to compare such moments. Such a color grade of oak color and darker color. In that case, black one. Regarding tricks, darker color hides defective parts, not without this. The fiber raises only if the wood is not dry. But because our camera lacks charging, we don't have time for waiting. Sorry about that. But we sell you honestly as it is. Here, as you see, we have certain shading. After you take a smaller sandpaper and polish, round off, compare the light and dark color. Is it nice? Yes. Such a decorative part. Let's model. If we have a frame, it should be cut circle-wise. We have an angle part, the upper part, the down part is horizontally opposed. Here, accordingly, as we touched there, take a V tool. For example, if we show for the second time, here we must work very carefully. Because we work after the colored wood stain. Like that. Like that we showed. You can show it with a knife. The penetrating, as you see, appeared to be quite high. Because we worked with the brush. We discussed such moment before. Like that you show, don't hurry. Like 
Here, work carefully. Here, raise a little. So, as you see, the direction will show like this. This is a variation for you to understand. As we told you before, I'll repeat, without any sketches, I mean artistic ones, with some marking included. What do I mean? You remember, the marking is simplified very much. Exactly the line is divided into fragments. Accordingly, we took not a V-tool as we showed here, but a small semicircle gouge. We showed the direction with it and did some branching. Accordingly, then we started to make the pattern more detailed. Afterwards, it's on larger scale. Same way, those parts here you show more plasticity. We didn't use here the method of separation with the semicircle gouge. We used here another method. Now look, if for example, why we filmed another video in another colored variation? Because if we tell you, look, there is this and that, you can use different color and it will have different results. Generally speaking, it could be understood, but not every person can model it virtually. That's why we made such a decision to film such a video and show the difference to you. Will it be useful for you to decorate with something? Yes. Will it help you to develop yourself? Yes. Do you need a lot of tools? No. Do you need to know how to draw and sculpture? No. Drawing and sculpturing will be needed further. There are people who, for example, try to paint with a pencil since childhood. Someone draw with felt tip pen. Someone starts with uh, caricature or anything else. Someone sculptures, but not everyone has a touch at this position. I refer to those people, so don't hurry up to make a person draw and sculpture. It will be needed later. A person can try himself in such thing and understand whether he likes it, she likes it or not. Is it worth paying attention to? Yes, it is. Is it worth to change our educational approach in Ukraine? Certainly, yes. Why? I want to notice the following moment. Our channel is not for professionals. For example, some people can say that I'm speaking badly, but correct speech is not our goal. The definitions from books and technical terms are not our goal. We explain everything in simple words, because exactly you, dear masters and craftsmen of high level, you modified your language that way that a simple person will not understand you. So what is going on? That is why we speak in simple words, maybe sometimes making even mistakes in grammar. I think for many people it's clear and understandable. In many cases it motivates people at least to try. Because any person who can't draw or sculpture, he can draw a line and do like this. You can notch without any efforts. You can take a semicircle and do like that. Everything can do that, right? Right. But you, professional masters, who try to explain that this might be so and so, it will be later. The approach to education should be changed dramatically, because everything is being modernized in the world, and you don't want to change. You got used to skewed knives and you say that it's comfortable. It's not so. If, for example, we tell you again and again that you can take a swallowtail knife and cut easily and take a semicircle gouge and mark, everyone can do that. 
and everyone will succeed with the pattern and it doesn't need some special skills they will be acquired afterwards with the help of practice accordingly a person can take a VTool a person can, no doubt a person can take a semicircle gouge also a person can take a sloping gouge put it like this and do what? mark first of all here when you practice you develop your thinking regarding how and what to decorate but we don't put people in frames it should be like this or like that it was told by people who wanted to unify the knowledge but let it be no limits in your head try think wide to create something extraordinary when we worked with a sloping gouge after the marking it's clear the next you can take a gouge and in fact do what with a semicircle gouge show again the same principle will any person do that? yes anyone he or she everybody can do it if then a person takes a V tool and again a person will show the inside part turning a person will create the pattern why I recommend for a person to train his or her fantasy to model the pattern also I recommend to work after colored wood stain why? because if you work without color you can miss what you'll have after shading because white color is white it has such effect if you work with shading you polish with the sandpaper then you get another result if you notched after the colored wood stain it will lead you to new ideas and so on and so forth for example friends send us the photos of their works and they haven't card before how can you tell that we can't be unhappy to see their results we are happy to the deepest parts of our souls why do I show it to you? why a year ago we appeared on the YouTube when we checked YouTube regarding geometry wood current we were shocked how it was shown and it what format because my good friend and colleague Denis Dubrava rest in peace and ebonist from Kirovograd who really enjoyed artistic wood carving sculpture Baroque when he visited me and saw that I carved the orders and sent them abroad he said quote Adolf start showing to people because nobody does it I just end of the quote I just I said oh come on don't say so but when one day I got a call and I was told that Dennis went to bed and didn't wake up he started to show to people as he could what and how to do some tricks and so on what he told and showed it's still useful why? exactly this moment pushed me to share my experience friends impossible is nothing just try don't be strict it's not worth doing the situation in the countries in the world is worth paying attention what kind of discrimination is going on because this is simple and clear don't estimate everything according to the number of technical terms used in it is it right or not it's a matter of debates in educational institutions we are simple people who are craftsmen and we share our experience our knowledge everything what we can with you friends we told you and showed you a lot please you are welcome to write comments like our videos because the material is interesting 
The material is rich, the program is rich, and it makes you think. Somewhere you make mistakes, but it's only the process of learning something new. But you'll be surprised with what you can do, because you need to show the nuances. I refer to the beginners. As you remember, in May, from the 22nd to the 25th, please, contact us. We invite you to the exhibition in Lviv to participate, to share your opinions with us. We'll share experience and meet each other and spend time in good way. So, bye to everyone. Subscribe, like our videos, and first of all, friends, if we succeeded to motivate you to make the first step, then just try, don't hesitate in your abilities. It can be done by everyone without any abilities to draw, sculpture, or think abstractly. First start with what we show you, then create your own patterns. We believe in you. That's all. Bye-bye. Godspeed.